Hello friends, welcome back. This is part 11 of our Civilization 5 Let's Play, and we are 41% of the way to completing the World's Fair project. We've put a little bit of work into it, but I want to get a lot more work because I really got to get first place there. Let's go ahead and build this farm up on that lovely little hill. Our missionary going to continue its adventure to Kabul here. Oh, hello. Little Aztec warship. Ah, oh, splendid. I wasn't realizing I was clearing a forest. Where am I clearing a forest? Oh, is, is this one here? Where did I clear a forest? Stone quarry? I don't know. Oh, excellent. We got this archaeology. So I'm going to be getting the artifact naturally. Um, I'm not going to be controlling this territory, at least not for a while. So the landmark improvement isn't going to do anything for me. Let's get the artifact. That'll go into my museums. Now I'm getting another one here. Let me make sure I have space for it. Oh, I definitely have space for it. Right? These are where artifact goes, right? It's it's art. Writing music. Well, I've got plenty of room. I've got plenty of room no matter what. Okay, here's an archaeologist. I get to reuse them? I didn't realize I got to reuse them. Alright, one, two, three. This will probably be incorporated. One, two. Yeah, this could be incorporated into either of my cities, so this should probably wind up uh, developed as opposed to just an... Ooh, maybe I should grab this one, though. One, two, three. That'll be within Edinburgh. I don't want Ravenna to somehow weasel its way in. Thankfully, I grabbed all the important stuff. One, two, three. I can't take that wheat, though. That's all right. All right, let's come down here and get this one. We don't have a lot to tell our cities to do over these few turns, because we're working on the World's Fair. Let's see, we're at one... Actually, that'll get updated after the next turn. Looks like I'm making good progress on it, though. All right, let's get on land. Hey, another antiquity site. There's actually a lot over here. Maybe I should send some archaeologists over there. Hmm. All right, so I could work on... Actually, I could work on the World's Fair. Maybe that would be wise. I really, 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 really want to make sure I'm the highest one. So, yeah, I'm going to set all cities to working on the World's Fair as soon as they're done with their current projects. Completing the World's Fair is so important to getting all those bonuses, not only for our own civilization, but also denying them to opponent civilizations. Uh, yeah, I could keep doing this truffles agreement. I am the world's greatest exporter of truffles, after all, so I have to live up to... Oh, here we go. Alright, so now city-state allies are giving additional delegates... More importantly, the host civilization is now getting three delegates, whereas before I only got two. So this will give me an additional delegate. It'll help overcome the advantage that England's currently getting. And ideally, let's see, is now in session delegation. Oh no! Oh no, that timing was terrible. Unfortunately, this timing came at a moment where... I, I can't bribe other city-states to give me their delegates. It's a little bit too late for that. Embargo Rome. Eh, I wouldn't be opposed to that, actually. But we've got to choose the host now, and unfortunately, I'm not going to win. Uh, England is going to be able to win here, so I don't want to actually go against them. I think I might throw my hat behind someone else. What happens if they're a tie? I'm not exactly sure if there's a tie. Who wins? So I'm going to throw my hat in the ring for Maya. I don't know why. You would think I could vote for my ally or something. But... I kind of want to see if Maya can win this. Right now, Maya is the weakest country in the world, so if they had control diplomatically, they couldn't do much harm with it. So yeah, I'm going to throw my political weight behind Maya. For P poor Pakal is going to be a pawn in my great master plan here. All right, let's do an archaeolog archaeological dig. Uh, that path is funny. All right, let's do that. 
All right, splendid. Our lumber mill is complete. Let's come down here then and keep developing. Finally, Edinburgh is taking this western area. I'm not used to city borders expanding as slowly as they are in this particular playthrough. And I think it's because usually I build my cities a lot taller as opposed to wider. And I've been saying that over the course of the playthrough, and, and just in case you're confused, what I mean by that is building tall is building a lot of city. Uh, or is building wide is building a lot of cities. Building tall is building few cities, but having each city be very, very large and powerful. All right, here's a desert that I may as well develop. Especially since we've got the, uh, the Petra here. All right, so Maya one. I don't know exactly why Maya won. Perhaps because they tied in votes, but they had more variety of leaders who voted for them. Regardless, we did make Maya the leader there. Um, let's hope he does well. As the new leader of the world. That seems a weird position of power to give. Ah, units. Weird position of power to give to one city holding. Ooh, they've got a customs house, though. Nice. Oh, hi. Hey, no problem, buddy. You know, ever since I met you, I always thought you had the face of somebody who could lead this world. Not really. We'll just let him think that. Never, I think, are we going to destroy Pakal. If if we come over here, Montezuma will be our target. All right, excellent. Chemistry done. That'll help a little bit in terms of production. And we could also build cannons, which I don't think are terribly useful right now, but we can. Keep heading in here, and let's spread our religion. Huh. I'll only actually spread two. I guess that's because its strength is dropped down to 500. And I'm not exerting the most pressure. Unfortunately, the Buddhist cities within the Aztec Empire are doing that. But, eh. That's okay. At least we've got Shinto all along the border here. I've also got to start converting these places back. Thankfully, my pressure is higher, so eventually it'll just revert naturally, but... In the meantime, that'll be irritating. Alright, Cardiff has completed, so I'm gonna put work on World's Fair now. Oh yeah, it's almost done. Yeah, probably just one more round for this. So may as well. Hey, sweet! Archaeology finished here. I could get a permanent diplomatic boost with that nation. That would be fine. I don't really want that, though, so I'm going to take the artifact. And I suspect England is not going to like this very much. I don't believe the AI of England is sophisticated enough to realize that I voted in favor of Maya to deny her the ability to be world leader, but we'll see. Hey, wait! The Antiquity site is still here! Hey, archaeologist, you never did it! I'm such a fool. That's why... Oh. I was wondering why he wasn't consumed. It was because I didn't actually have them build the archaeological site there. Oh well, I guess I'm getting this one instead. Uh, I mean no offense, but I'll dig wherever I can. If you'd like to escalate this, you're welcome to try. I think you have your hands full right now, queen. You've got some... Oh, I do like shiny things the most. That's very true. And excellent, I did come out ahead. Man, Montezuma put a lot of work into that, though. So both Augustus Caesar and Enrico Dondaldo will get 500 points toward their next Golden Age, which is pretty good. But I get that, in addition to a free social policy, in addition to my culture is going to go up by 100% for the next 20 turns, which is going to make me fly through social policy. So this is great for me. Unfortunately, I don't believe ideologies are unlocked yet, but that's all right. Yeah, more work is probably better. Let's go ahead and do a lumber mill. That's right, and I want to keep coming into aesthetics. So that's not going to help me. Ooh, that could be helpful. Yeah, let's get fine arts. This way our excess happiness, of which we've got a lot, can be converted into culture. 
Look at how much that goes up already. Splendid. I don't get another social policy, do I? Oh, I do! Wait, no I don't. Do I? Wait. Huh. Yeah, you know what? This is probably going to be better for me. I'll take cultural centers for now. Oh, I could! I had a social policy saved up that I didn't even know. Huh, nice. Alright, production here then. Edinburgh, I think it's time to start on the National College. Let's get that going. Dublin will be producing uh, stoneworks. They definitely need that. Cardiff will be producing perhaps time for a seaport. N let's actually, yeah, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a zoo. I'm gonna go with a zoo. Get our happiness up a little bit more. Let's see. How about uh, yeah, an aqueduct works. Uh, well, a granary first. We gotta get some basic stuff here still. Let's also do a university. And by also, I mean instead. Alright, my golden age has ended, but I'm getting another one very, very soon. Alright, nice job on the World's Fair. We were able to... My city convert... What? What? Venice? Venice? I think we need to have a chat, sir. Salud. Am I allowed to tell you not to demand, no, discuss? Andevanti. Yeah. Di sicuro, no. Wow. In spite of your protests, your citizens will continue to be enlightened by our missionaries, even though you damn your own people to live in ignorance. I suddenly feel a little bit less bad about this fertilizer experimentation I'm doing in order to blow up Venice eventually. You are in for a world of hurt, I'm afraid. Oh, I totally forgot I had a great engineer. That's right. Maybe I should build... I don't know, something. Let's get Circus Maximus going here. Maybe I should get a museum first. But instead, let's get Circus Maximus. Ooh. I don't know how... Wow. They really are being aggressive with Confucianism. That's disappointing. In a way, I suppose it's okay. You know what? I'm not trading with you ever. In a way, I suppose it's okay. Because Shinto is still the world's religion. So... It's very, very likely that they're just going to lose their position of having more delegates. And eventually I'll convert everybody back, but... Huh, this is some bold advances that I have to admit I don't like seeing. I'm gonna develop this desert a little bit more. Again, Dublin has the Petra, so deserts are good for me. Hmm... I think it might be time for an aqueduct here. Let's do that. Ah, splendid. We've just got some more archaeology. And I think I do want that to be a landmark improvement. Because this is an ancient one. So this will give me a lot of culture, because the uh, amount of culture is based on the age. And since this is ancient, this is going to last for quite a while. Plundered ancient ruins. Oh, this must have been the source of a barbarian encampment. Interesting. It is fun how these uh, archaeological sites grow out of some of the stuff that happened early on. Early destroyed cities could become archaeological sites, destroyed barbarian encampments, um, discovered ruins. It's really cool. So let's do a landmark improvement. That's not going to be useful for a little while, but it will be a useful soon. Alright, next turn. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't know why everybody is so friendly with me on this continent right now. I'm, I'm unhappy with all of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. I don't know why Maya would want open borders with me. I mean, I could understand, I suppose, I'm not doing it yet, but I could understand, suppose, if Nantes's borders develop enough that without an ocean-faring ship, Montezuma and Maya are having difficulty going around here, but they've got to be getting close to ocean-faring ships soon. I mean, it's 1770. All right, lumber mill completed here. Let's do another lumber mill here. Oh. Cougar ship will continue the previous trade route. Our caravan will probably continue its previous trade route as well. Although, I, hmm. Ah, uh, 15 followers. Venice, you are on my bad side right now. I'm just going to keep the route the same. Maybe there's a better route, but we're just going to keep the routes the same for now. Ugh. 67 pressure, though. Dublin will convert back soon enough, but... Oh, wait. Hmm. Well, Venice is the only one with higher pressure. That should probably be okay. I could make Inquisitors to station in my cities to prevent my enemies from spreading their religion in it, but I don't really feel the need to devote any resources, any significant resources at least, to doing that. This cotton is developed. I need to make more archaeologists. There are too many archaeological sites that I want to get before my opponent's civilizations research it. Hey, a great artist! Hey, a great writer! Nice. Alright, so let's create a great work. Rumi has written... Ooh, the Masnavi. That's very nice. Alright. And... We've also got Henry Rousseau. Creating Tiger in a Tropical Storm. Oh, this is very nice! Very nice. I don't think I've ever seen this before. All right, well, now that's ours. Oxford University would be great. I need to start pumping out archeologists though. I can't go back on what I previously said. I've gotta make these archeologists. Seaport time? Yeah, I mean, we are working a lot of sea resources in this city, so a seaport would be helpful to up that production and gold. Yeah, let's do a seaport. Because we're going to be working a lot of these tiles. Seaports actually make island nations, rather island cities, viable. Hmm, well, how much money do you actually have? Not enough. I guess I'll trade for incense, but I don't think he's going to be up for that. Yeah, I'm not doing it. He's only got one incense, so he doesn't want to trade it away, but... I'm not going to give him truffles for nothing. I don't need horses. I just don't need horses. I've got two horses sitting around that I've got nothing to do with. Eh, I'm going to do a trading post here. I don't know why. Just got all of this forest around me and not really a lot to do with it. I'm kind of just trying to keep the economy going, you know. We've got all these workers. I want to give them a job. Oh, we got an upcoming session. We'll be voting. And we can adopt a policy. Sounds great. So we got a farm in the desert. Very, very nice. Uh, one, two. I guess let's develop this down here. Sure. This is our farm. Oh, there we go. Okay. It just didn't load yet. Fair enough. I was going to say, I suppose that's what a farm in the desert would look like, but... That's a little bit better. All right, I want another archaeologist, as a matter of fact. Not in Truro, though. Truro's got more important things. Maybe it's time for stables. Oh, in fact, yeah, we've got horses and sheep. So this would... A lot of sheep. Yeah, this stables would be a great idea. I probably should have done that earlier. And our policy we will adopt... Uh, you know what? I should get a world wonder in some other cities to boost this up even more. But let's see how high the culture is going to go now. From 250 to 355. T to be fair, we are in a golden age, though. 59 from the golden age. So that's still a really big improvement. That's so great. And in five turns, 
we will be voting on whether to embargo city-states and embargo Rome. Coming along very nicely. Fertilizer, almost done. How are we going in technology now? We'll get fertilizer, we'll get metallurgy, we'll get uh, military science, then we'll get dynamite. So it looks like we are uh, 14, 25, we're about 26 turns away from being able to start churning out our engine of war. But I would say this part was rather successful. We completed the World's Fair and hosted it. So we are far ahead as far as I'm concerned. We just gotta fight back Confucianism a little bit. This heathen religion is starting to spread, and Shinto will not stand for it. In any case, thank you guys so much for being here. We'll be back tomorrow to continue playing some Civilization V. I am Fruit Bats. We'll see you next time.